In this big important step, we're going to be developing the binary search that's going to allow us to update our guesses and get closer and closer to the user's guesses. Guesses. We're going to be putting that code in the update procedure. And there is going to be a lot of code. You don't not necessarily have to understand every step of the code. Um, we're going to be giving it to you because the binary search algorithm is actually a very complex algorithm. And um, we're going to be building it from the bottom up together by updating the variable guesses to reflect the computer's current guess so it can keep getting closer and closer to the actual guess. The, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be resetting or setting the variable of global guesses or that variable global guess to a new global guess and we're going to be set basing that on first a subtraction problem so feel free to go over to the subtraction block grab that subtraction block and the first step we're going or the first thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be subtracting the max from the min so we're going to have to get the max and we're going to have to get the min. When we have that max in min, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that value because that's the range and we are going to divide that by 2. In division, in coding, and in MIT App Inventor is this symbol right here. So I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to divide it and notice how I'm doing this it is kind of tricky I'm going to now divide it and did you see how this kind of goes inside of this one or it's kind of nested inside there we're going to divide it by 2 so I'm going to drag the number 2 in there and we're dividing that value by 2 but to make that even more complicated we're going to be subtracting that from the global max so we're going to be grabbing a subtraction block dragging that in there and we're going to be subtracting the global max from this range so we're going to start at the maximum and subtract out this range so now i have to get i use a getter and i'm going to get the global max subtract this out this value divide this value right here the range um, divided by 2, we're going to subtract it out, and that's going to be the new guess. But what's going to happen sometimes is this is going to be a, a 0.5 um, if, if the number is odd, So if this is odd. So what we're going to do is we are now going to round that. There is a round function provided for us, and you're going to have to search for it in the math function, and it will say round. Here it is right here, and now I'm going to drag this right there and I am going to round the global max minus the global max minus the global min divided by 2 and that is the guessing code now we also want to display that guess and we're going to display that guess in this label right here that guess label that guess label is going to display that text so I'm going to set that text the guess label text I'm going to set it to be the global guess I'm going to set it to be the global guess so this is set to this value and then we display the value and I'm going to clean up my code a little bit because now the code is starting to overlap and I, I just don't like the way it looks and my previous training has me initiate initialize variables at the top of this uh, top of the code so I'm going to just continue that practice here and move my variables to the top of the code so it makes the code cleaner I'm also going to just arrange these a little better because these are the next blocks we're going to be working with so I'm going to just set it up so I have better access to it and just kind of straighten up my desktop a little bit just so I can have uh, a cleaner view of, of all my code Great job with this very challenging step.